We have another product from uh, JetSkiPlus.com, it's the degree wheel today. We're actually going to be setting the uh, timing on a 1995 SeaDoo GTS. Um, we're going to be putting dual carbs on and we uh, removed the rotary valve and we're going to get it re-put back on at the right timing. So we talked to JetSkiPlus.com and they sent us a degree wheel. It's a nice uh, plastic wheel, almost like a CD. But this should be more precise than creating a do-it-yourself device, maybe like cardboard that you see on YouTube. So we're also going to show you how to get top dead center on your top of your piston here so that you can get that set proper. And we're going to do it the poor boy way with a screwdriver. This is how you get top dead center to be able to align the rotary valve. We're going to use a screwdriver. You're not going to put any pressure, you're just going to hold it in a vertical direction and use your hand back on the back of the engine to turn So what we do is we try to get it all the way to the top, the screwdriver will come up out, and we use a marker to make a circle mark, and we watch that and we find wherever it seems to top out at, the top and the bottom we make a mark. And if it tops out, if we're wrong we'll make that mark again, but a lot of times we just sit there and shimmy it back and forth till that doesn't move anymore and that's top dead center. Simple, simple. Okay, so we basically line up gauge with the top of the rotary valve, which is this hole here. And we want to line that up. We're after a mark of 130 degrees. So if we get this on zero, then we come around and we're able to get to 130. Now, it's not really hard. You just may have to get a phone out or something to give you a little bit more sight on this if you're going to try to do it in the hole. Once you get that, make a mark, and then that's where you're going to line up the rotary valve. Once you have that lined, I'm going to show you that here in just a moment. That's that easy. Thanks to the guys at Jet Ski Parts. Okay, so we have our degree wheel installed. And zero for us on the top of the rotary valve hole here is zero. So we're going to use, get that lined up to the top. You're going to have to use something like a mirror or maybe a phone like we did. And you're just going to have to get it eyeballed if you're going to try to do this in the hole. Now, for the GTS, we have to go to 130 degrees or 230. You can see it's all on the same mark. Uh, but we're after 130. I'll put a link to a website that has that information, but if that is ever dead, you can always just do a Google for the degree of uh, the rotary valve for your, your model. And there's plenty of websites out there. So you get that lined up, and then that'll allow you to install your rotary valve plate right in the right degree and right timing. So we'll come back to that in just a moment. Well, we're getting that installed, the 130 degree mark, when that gets set, what we do is we make a scratch mark. You can use a marker, but we want to also, once we're sure that's it, we actually will put a small scratch with a metal um, object to keep that there. And then you never need to worry about having this to remark that block. So, you should be good. And we want to thank uh, JetSkiPlus.com for their degree wheel. Inexpensive, great item, and you don't have to worry about doing any compass work on a piece of cardboard. Real simple, real fast fix. Yeah, so Ricky is getting that installed, and as you see, he's using his phone to get that lined up. And it takes a little bit of finagling, if you can call that a word, to get that on, but it should line right up with the teeth and uh, with your mark. And after you get it on, uh, good job, right?
come over and make you a scratch mark off of that. But you can recheck it by putting your wheel back on just to make sure that everything uh, should line up. Yep. One more quick, easy way to get something done yourself and save some bucks. Thank <laughs> you.